Babies are way better at reading other people's emotions than adults. That means you had this ability once, but you lost it over time. Luckily for you, I've spent over 168 hours researching how to read a person using science. Basically, there's a thing called the Moravian Communication Formula, which explains how we communicate our emotions. Compared to us adults, babies don't know how to talk yet, so they pay more attention to nonverbal and paraverbal communication. And that's exactly what you have to do in order to find out if someone likes you or not. Number 1. Nonverbal Communication Here, you have to focus on three areas, legs, hands, and face. When it comes to the legs, you have to pay attention to the distance between them. Usually, the bigger the distance, the more comfortable the person, up to a certain limit, of course. The direction of their feet. We tend to point our feet towards someone or something we like. The position of the heels. If someone's heel is slightly lifted off the ground, it's a sign that they're feeling nervous. And after that, we have the hands. I'm not gonna bore you with the usual signs like crossed arms, cracking knuckles, or clenched fists. But there are a few aspects that you have to keep in mind. A. Check the direction of the palms. In evolutionary psychology, exposing the palms means that the person in front of you is comfortable and honest. B. Notice how their hands are in rapport with you. In poker, the players with the best cards tend to keep their hands on them, while the players with bad cards tend to keep their hands away. Why? Because when we like something, we move our hands towards that thing, but when we don't, we keep it away. C. Notice what they do with their hands during the interaction. For example, if they touch their forehead, it means that they feel anxious. On the other hand, if they touch their lips, it might mean they're attracted to you. There's no point in enumerating all the meanings behind some gestures now, so I'll just put them on screen. But the most important subject is the face. The chin being further out and a smooth forehead means that they like you and that they're comfortable. On the other hand, if they tuck their chin down and have a furrowed forehead, they feel uncomfortable or even stressed. These are the most obvious signs that you can spot. But there are also the eyes, the most important part of nonverbal communication. Also, they are the hardest to read. Before I tell you anything, I want you to look at a pair of eyes right here. What emotion are they giving off? If you said decisive, you are correct. What about this? It's desire. And finally this. It's concerned. If you didn't get them right, don't worry. I'm gonna give you some specific details that will help you read other people's eyes. First, look at their shape. If someone narrows their eyes similar to this, it can mean they are either angry, suspicious, or concerned. Yet in certain cases, it might just mean that a person is concentrating. On the other hand, if someone widens their eyes like this, it can mean that they are either surprised, alert, or even afraid. If the person in front of you gets these wrinkles around their eyes, it means that they're truly happy to see you around them. Now there's also a special eye shape called closed set eyes. You've probably seen this type of eye shape in a lot of celebrities, but the best example is Marilyn Monroe. It happens when a girl has her eyes half closed while still maintaining eye contact. It's usually a sign of desire and interest. Most girls do this unconsciously, yet some do it on purpose due to the seductive effect it has on men. But besides the shape, you can also read some someone's eyes by the direction they're looking at. In 1970, Richard Bandlier and John Grinder called this phenomenon neurolinguistic programming. This is actually more helpful when you're trying to figure out if someone is being honest with you. But in 2021, a study that was highlighted in The Atlantic found out that people can detect lies better from audio alone than from video or text. What does this tell us? Although it represents a smaller part of our overall communication, we can't overlook Look. Number 2. Paraverbal Communication Here you have to pay attention to three things. A. Her pitch. A study published in Evolution and Human Behavior found that women tend to raise their voice pitch when they are attracted to someone, while men tend to lower their voice pitch. B. Elongated words. You see this especially in your interaction with girls. If she says something like, really? Instead of really, or no way, instead of no way, there are a lot of chances that she's into you. You probably spotted this kind of behavior through text, and it's one of the biggest signs that she's into you. C. Micro pauses. 
When people pause mid-sentence and suddenly change their pacing, it means that they're either thinking, lying, or emotionally conflicted. This usually happens when someone starts to open up about something, but then pulls back because they're afraid of being judged. If you spot that, encourage them to continue. This alone will build up a better connection. Once you get good at the basics of paraverbal communication, you can start analyzing every emotion behind someone's voice by searching for these cues right here. Yet, sometimes the key difference between really understanding someone or completely missing the point is number three verbal communication what is your gender my gender mm. i'm a mechanic a big sign that a person likes you is that they use tag questions these are questions like isn't it or right at the end of a sentence. Why? If a person likes you, they'll want to make sure that you two share the same values. A similar sign is the fight for airtime phenomenon. Basically, they start finishing off your sentences or jump in with stuff like, yeah, exactly. But in order for them to finish off your sentences, you have to know how to avoid awkward silence first. Fortunately for you, I know the video that shows you how to talk to anyone, anything, anywhere.